Hello and welcome to another episode. In this episode I've um, I've been handed a bit of a scoop, an exclusive that no one seems to know about. Um, it's to do with the navigation. It's a feature that's um, available on the Ionic 6 and it's, uh, it's an EV journey planner but it's also available in these widescreen head units. Well, I've tested so far on the EV6, hopefully on the Ionic 5 and the Kona and the Nero and the uh, and the soul, but uh, let me know in the comments if this works. Anyway, I'll just demonstrate uh, what it is. This information came to me from uh, in the comments from someone called David Talbot. So thank you for this. Um, it's a really good tip to help you with your journey planning, and I hope that Kia will actually make this properly live in a future update because it's a very useful thing to have. Anyway, let me demonstrate on the dual. Uh, Aircon and entertainment screen. If you press nav to navigate, this is before you put this change in. I'm going to show you. you press search, and if I go to somewhere that I know is out of my range, I've got 197 range at the moment. So, Georgia in uh, Devon, uh, battery charge is insufficient to reach destination. Visit a charging station along the route. Now, it gives you the option of just pressing OK or searching stations. And what this Ionic 6 uh, method does is it looks for charges along the route and builds the route for you. And the way that you turn this um, Ionic 6 feature on is in engineering mode. So, the usual warning, um, don't do any deletes or wipes in engineering mode and you do so at your own risk. So, just be careful, just follow what I do and hopefully it should be alright. So, engineering mode, you need the radio on or entertainment on, which I've got, and then set the volume to 7. 7. Then press the file tune button, and then 3. Press it again. It's the equivalent of OK. And then 1. Press OK. And then, on the latest head units, it's... Um, 1950-0624 It does give you a warning so just pay heed to that and then the place you want to go is in dynamics navigation route or route and scroll down the bottom and you want to where is it EV recommend POI activation turn that on and then come back out and if I push nav again and search and then pick Georgia which is out of my range The battery capacity may be insufficient to reach your destination. Would you like to stop at an EV charging station? Arrival time may vary according to charging time. Yes, and this is where it plans it. It's saying stop at Brusel Mobility, wherever the heck that is, and that's an AC charger. But I mean, um, this will try and find any kind of charger, I think. Um, I've tried filtering and it doesn't seem to impact it, but it does change the charger every time I, I seem to do this search. So it's dynamic. What? If I pick the wrong bloody Belgium? <laughs> Maybe this is why this is still a hidden feature, because it's not quite working right. Anyway. The route guidance will start now. Let's cancel that. Nav. Search. Georgia. In Devon.
Yes. I don't know why it's sending me to Belgium. Right, I'm going to go to Edinburgh this time and see if it actually picks up any of the correct charger. Yesterday this was working fine for me and I was getting the correct chargers. Okay, stop at the charging station. It suggests that I stop at this Porsche Smart Mobility Carnforth. It's currently in use, so that's not much cut, but I mean, at least it's done it right this time. The route guidance will start now. Right, let's try somewhere in Cornwall because I know that's out of my range. See if he gets it right this time. Um, um, about Saint Agnes. Saint Agnes's head is actually in Cornwall for sure. Two hundred and sixteen miles out of my range. Okay. Set his destination. Yep. And where's he going to put the charger this time? Let's put it in uh, Belgium. What the actual... <laughs> this is not ready to use yet. Um, but it's there as a demonstrator um, and sometimes works. I mean, it worked fine for me yesterday, but today their routine is uh, shite. <laughs> How random. Let's do Glasgow. That'll do. Set its destination. So yes, and see where it puts the charger. Hmm. That's a Porsche again, that Porsche charger, which I don't even know you can use, but um, it's a pity you can't tell it to use um, different types of chargers, like Ionity or something. Let's do Portsmouth, see if I'm out of range for that. Yeah. Is it going to send me to Belgium again? Fast Ned. Ooh, that looks really like it might be decent. That's in Oxford, Fast Ned, that'll do. So in this case, it works. The route guidance will start now. Uh, you've got the 
plan to a thing. And you can add tour points or more charges in there, I guess. Anyway, it's, it's a useful feature of what is to come, and sometimes it works. I think it's been taken off because it's not fully tested. Right, I'm back in the car to uh, test this again. Now, if I go straight to nav, and I put search for Georgium again in Devon. You'll notice that the old screen comes back because the car's been off for over an hour. Yeah, so that's what you get at the moment. Right, so I'm back in the car and I've turned the feature back on and I'll test the Sage Gates head in Newcastle. Yes. And that's very helpfully um, directing me to Ionity Leads. If you press on that, you can see if it's busy or not. Available too. So, I don't know if that updates dynamically as you drive and will tell you or redirect you. Uh, but it would be a nice feature. Um, so in that instance, it's worked just fine. But if I go back to Georgia... The route guidance will start now. Search. Georgia EX33 near Brunton. Yes. And again, it's given me a charge stop, which is in Brussels. So if I scroll the map over, there it is. Why the hell is it going to Brussels to make me charge when <laughs> there's, a, there's a load of charges on the way to choose from? Yesterday this was picking typically correct ones and today it's not, even if I uh, reduce my range by putting the AC on or something. So I don't understand, I mean it's um, it's all done online in the algorithm connected routing so something's wrong in the uh, Hyundai Kia servers somewhere. It's very strange. Anyway, anyway if, if you do fancy using this um, if you can get a reliable answer out of it, um, it, it might be of some use, um, but it will disappear when you turn the car off, if the car's been off for about 20 minutes and the head units all shut down. Um, if you parked up to charge and you turn the car off, and you're charging and you're sitting in the car and you turn the ignition back on, then the head unit will stay al alive and that setting will remain until the car shuts down. Also, I've noticed um, the head unit seems to stay alive if you've got the vehicle to load adapter just plugged in. Um, my old trick of keeping the 12 volt battery topped up uh, seems to keep it alive. So I had it running for hours, just sat on the drive yesterday and couldn't get rid of it. Um, so I would take this as a kind of beta test. I mean, the fact that it's redirecting me randomly to Brussels for a charge, which is nowhere near the route, has got to be a bug and this has to be turned off for good reason because maybe they suspect there are bugs in it but this is the same version as far as I know that's in the Ionic 6 so if you've got an Ionic 6 and you've got this feature how are you getting on with it? Is it reliable or, or is this a slightly different version? Anyway it's there for you to play with um, at your own risk see how you get on with it Hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.